the responsibilities of healthcare providers in, in times of conflict are basically the same as in time of peace. The, the, the problem of the conflict situation is that uh, it is much more difficult sometimes to, to implement it. Uh, healthcare providers can be confronted to, to dilemmas. Uh, I usually say that uh, healthcare personnel have the right not to be neutral. They have the right to be uh, part of the government or part of the opposition. Uh, but the day they have to treat patients, they have to be impartial. Authorities have the duty to uh, give the possibility to healthcare providers to, to work safely and independently according to medical ethics principles. Uh, for instance, in, in some countries, um, bullet injuries have to be declared to the Ministry of Public Health. And this is fine as long as the healthcare provider is sure that the patient is not going to be taken out of the hospital just because he's been declared with a bullet injury. So this means that um, confidentiality becomes uh, an important and essential part of uh, the work of healthcare providers in times of conflict or any other emergency. Uh, patients have, uh, are, are not protected from the law as such in their country, but they need to be treated properly. Well, uh, I think uh, uh, sometimes uh, healthcare personnel need to, to know about their rights uh, because they need to be able to uh, challenge the authorities, they need to challenge the direction of the hospital, they need to challenge also uh, families, armed groups, to, to tell them if you wish us to achieve what we have to achieve, then uh, you need to make sure that we can work independently and impartially. Doctors, nurses, anyone working in a hospital needs to be able to know and to make it known that uh, any patient arriving to the hospital has the right to health and any healthcare personnel working in a hospital has the right to work properly.